I'm Gene Mokasethian, and along with my partner James Ritter, I'm the owner and founder of Joint Custody, and I do a little bit of everything, but it's been a lifelong kind of quest, searching out old things that we're interested in, and James and I have played in a band together starting in the early 2000s, so we've known each other for a really long time. We were both into vintage clothing starting in the mid-90s when there, it was really easy to find stuff and uh, it was a lot cheaper. I would say that Joint Custody's unique identity is uh, kind of, for a lot of people, maybe music. Uh, most of the people that work for Joint Custody, they play on records, they tour, Jose does a radio show, everybody's involved in music. So it's not just kind of like a thing where we throw it on top and being like, oh, like, I like this logo, but I don't know what it is. We know about so much, so many different kinds of music that like, we know what we're selling you and we care about it. We don't want to sell something that we think isn't cool. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Fast fashion makes these products that are supposed to only be around for a little while. You buy them, you throw them away, they're often made with labor that um, isn't humane, it doesn't treat people right. And vintage clothing is a way to personally express your style at any price point. You can find something that's really cheap and interesting to you, or you can find you know, a grail piece that's really expensive, but it's something you care so much about you're willing to go the extra mile for it. So it's sustainable, but it's also unique and it uh, helps represent you individually. I don't really think of our store as like, uh, obviously like we're hardcore kids and like that's what we're into, but um, we're also into everything. So I don't really see our, our store as like limiting in that way. Like, I don't know, everyone who works here is pretty much interested in the, the, whole, the whole package, like everything uh, good and bad. Earlier today, a guy was in the store actually and we were talking about um, the difference between buying a record online and buying a record in person and how like you know there have been record there are records i've wanted forever that i'll go and spend a lot of money on and that like i'll go and spend a lot of money on them online and i'll get them shipped to me and they'll come and i'll i won't even care but when i walk into a store and see something that i've wanted for a long time it feels like it's just the best thing to be able to walk into somewhere and find something that you want I think it's unfortunate that gentrification is taking a lot of the things about the city that I love away, but I love the community around the shop. Uh, I love the community around all shops, but especially ours, you know, um, and that's something I think that everyone should be trying to cultivate in their spaces, and it just, because they're being sucked away from us slowly. 